When do you don versus senor in Spanish? The distinction between don and senor in Spanish hinges on levels of formality and respect. First off, senor is the standard term for mister or sir. It's used broadly, pretty much encompassing any adult male in a polite, formal context. If you're walking into a store in Madrid and trying to get someone's attention, a courteous senor will do the trick. Don, on the other hand, is a notch above senor. It's an honorific title that conveys a deeper level of respect. Historically, Don was reserved for nobility, but today it's also used as a mark of esteem toward men of significant standing or accomplishment within the community. Think of it as akin to being knighted, a similar vibe to Sir in English. Now, being a Portlander and pretty casual by nature, I find the nuanced application of Don fascinating. In places like Mexico or Spain, you might address an esteemed academic or a revered elder as Don, followed by their first name, for instance, Don Francisco. It's a mix of formality and familiarity that often trips up non-Spanish speakers. By contrast, senor usually precedes the last name, reinforcing that formal barrier. Remember, when in doubt, go with senor. Overusing don can seem presumptuous or inauthentic, especially if you're a foreigner not entirely versed in the social subtleties of Spanish-speaking countries. But when you know someone warrants that extra layer of deference, don presents a polished, culturally aware way to show it. Just imagine addressing someone at the Portland Farmer's Market. If they're clearly a well-respected grower with decades in the game, a don might be in order. Otherwise, senor fits the bill for most interactions. Unless, of course, we're talking about grabbing a voodoo donut, then a casual, hey, could I grab, is more than enough. Here's the bottom line. Language reflects culture, and respect is universal. Senor and don are Spanish tools for showing it. Use them wisely.